an attacking masterclass from Damian McKenzie has carried the All Blacks to a 49-14 third test win over France and a clean sweep of the series. All Blacks first 5 8th Damian McKenzie photo, photos Fort McKenzie crossed twice, scored 24 points and pulled the strings in a slick New Zealand display on Saturday after the tourists had begun in compelling fashion. Starting a test at 5 8th for the first time in place of the injured Bowden Barrett, the 23-year-old McKenzie's electric pace was too much to handle. Having plied his trade as a counter-attacking fullback at Super Rugby and test level, he proved he had a bright future closer in. As well as landing all seven conversion attempts, it was McKenzie's tries either side of halftime that swung the momentum. Up 21-14 at the break, the All Blacks carved out four unanswered tries in the second spell, which included a hat-trick to brilliant winger Rico Owain. The pace of the game took its toll on France, who dominated much of the first half, constantly troubling the world champions with the rough loading game. The high-speed test was a world apart from New Zealand's dodgy 26-13 win last week in Wellington, and free of the cards and controversy that had dogged the series. French reserve halfback Baptiste Serin crossed for the opening try, minutes after replacing captain Morgan Parra, who exited the game following a head knock. New Zealand finally had some possession and created tries to fullback Ben Smith and replacement flanker Matt Todd, before classy French inside centre Wesley Fifana scored in his first test for 18 months. Mackenzie scooted under the crossbar directly from a scrum soon before halftime in the game's most contentious moment. The French were furious Saren was blocked from tackling Mackenzie by Irish referee John Lacey, who didn't change his try ruling after a review. McKenzie sliced through from 40 meters out after halftime and his inside ball provided the first of Owain's tries to knock the stuffing out of the visitors. A 14th straight win over France under their belts, the All Blacks' next assignment is twin rugby championship tests in August against Australia. AAP